Whilst there are a number of websites you can use for making AI-generated music, such as Suno and Udio, up until now I don't think there have been any decent free and open source alternatives. All that changes though, as now there's something you can run at home on your own PC. The music created may not be quite up to the website options, but these models are small enough for even the most meagre of GPUs. Yes, even a 3060 mobile with just 6GB of VRAM is capable of running this. Running locally not only means you effectively have infinite credits, but you can also upload your own voice, upload music clips, and if you're a nerd, play around with the code a bit. Like they say here, some of you may find words that start with, uh, whatever that is, hard to pronounce. If so, you can just call it yeah. Yeah, I'll call it yeah. Thanks. Today I'll be looking at a couple of the Gradio interfaces, such as yeah GP for the GPU port by Deep Beat Meep, as well as the yeah Xlama V2 version. I won't be showing it here, but Microsoft Windows beginners may like the Visions of Chaos version, which has yeah included. Probably best to have a quick listen then, eh, and see what they sound like. First up is some output from the original repository. This one is the slowest, uh, but potentially the best quality, though without any optimizations, you're looking at 15 minutes for a 60 second song on a 3090, with VRAM usage going up to around 16 gig. Let's take a listen to the first creation then. Way digestive or hard knob, chop a later claim. I put them on a side plate to be eaten just the same. There we go then, as an initial example, I don't think that's too bad. There are lots of options you can play with, all sorts of different seeds, but let's just compare it to some of the others to start with. Now, this one for the GPU pour is, well, it's a lot faster because this one takes just over four minutes. It also has various profiles like you can see there, so you can run it on much lower amounts of VRAM. Very handy. I used the same lyrics, tags, and seeds, so do you think it turned out the same? Well, let's have a listen. My favorite thoughts like vapors drift throughout the day. But there's so nothing hardcore in a very British way. Digestive or a hot knob chocolate or plain. I'll put them on a side plate to be eaten just the same. Nope, that's definitely totally different, but still pretty good. I think quality wise, maybe it's not quite up to that of the original, but perhaps more testing is required there to be sure. This next example version I made using the X Llama V2. For me, this one also took around four minutes, and well, it sounds like this. <laughs> My favorite thoughts like vapors drift throughout the day But there's so nothing hard for in a very British way Digestive or a hot bar, chocolate or brain I'll put them on a side bank to be eaten just the same Again then, not the same as the original, but still pretty decent quality. In my head, I prefer the original, but with the performance of these other options being so much better, I am tending towards, well, either of them really. It's a tough call. Final choice, of course, is yours. Something else which may be important to you is the interface, so let's take a look at the differences now. With the original repository being the slowest and only having a command interface, I've included the steps I used to get it going in the Patreon post for this video because I reckon most people will prefer to go for either Visions of Chaos for the Windows beginners or one of the two Gradio interfaces. 
The first Gradio interface looks like this. This is the Yeah GP version, which has one interface for the standard song generation and a second one for the ICL version. Wait, what's that? What's ICL? Well, that's in context learning. Here you can provide the model with some uploaded prompts. Here I've got an audio track upload and you can upload an instrument track there. And then what it will do is do a similar style to the provided audio. Dual track ICL works better in general, requiring both vocal and instrumental tracks. But you can do single track ICL as well, just providing the audio, for example. As you can see, the interface is pretty clean with basic options such as number of sequences, token, and a seed being available. The Xlama V2 Gradio interface has all the options in one place with lots of little tick boxes to change. So here we can scroll down, we've got use audio prompt, so you can tick that box and then you get the uploads there. So it's all in one rather than two different interfaces. It's also got lots of options which make it look a bit complicated and there's no orange button. So perhaps you prefer the color scheme of the other one. The tagging in this case is also slightly limited. So you may like it because it gives you inspiration, but then I also can't type in British where there's, there's no British tag. So I can't actually add that as a thing. Talking of which, let's take a quick look at the prompt guide. They've got five tips for genre tagging at the moment, with the main thing being that a stable tagging prompt usually consists of five components, the genre, instrument, mood, gender, and timbre. All five should be included if possible, separated by a space. The examples we've heard already weren't using ICL mode, so I guess we should probably have a look at this whole ICL thing as well, see if it's any good. For this test, I recorded myself singing much the same song as there, but with a genuine British accent. Um, here's a quick sample of the input, with the full clip being 30 seconds long. My favourite thoughts like vapours drift throughout the day, but they're so nothing hardcore in a very British way. Now, bear in mind it does work best if you include both vocal and instruments, but in this case I'm just using the vocals. Are you ready for the result? Well, here goes. <laughs> My favorite thoughts like vapors drift throughout the day But they're so nothing hardcore in a very British way I just Wow, that's actually fairly impressive. There are definite hints of my genuine British accent in there and it's made up some music for it too. It's also worth noting you don't have to match the lyrics and indeed some of the words here are different. While we're talking about outputs, there are various difference in the outputs for each of these as well. For example, with Yeah GP, you'll need to make sure you save your song manually if you want to keep it. With Xlama, however, you'll get a variety of data in the output directory, including things like the stems. Very handy if you want to re-record your vocals over an instrumental, for example. The Xlama version will overwrite each time though, if you don't provide a custom name. Other than the previously mentioned Visions of Chaos, you can also install this Yeah for Windows version because that's just got some PowerShell scripts there. One install, two run, and two run the Gradio interface. As for the installs, everything needs Flash Attention 2 for optimal performance, which is a five second install on Linux, but a bit more long winded on um, Windows. Yeah, GP has an SDPA option though, if you can't be bothered with things like that. Before starting, make sure you've got Anaconda or Miniconda installed, Git LFS, and the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. Using Linux will also make your life easier for the installation because you'll need things such as Triton and Flash Attention too. They say that Python greater than 3.8 is recommended, and for each of these, I used Python 3.12. So instead of the conda create Python equals 3.8 there, I used 3.12. Also be sure to use the CUDA 12.4 version of PyTorch 2.5.1, which is an older release like they show there. Looking at the other steps for Yeah GP first then, make sure to follow each of them. So you've got the install source code, you want the git LFS install if you haven't already got that because this is quite a big download. Pip install minus R, the requirements.txt, pip install the flash attention. 
and then this allegedly optional step four you will actually need to do. They've got scripts there for both Linux and Windows, but if we take a quick look at one of those commands, we'll see it's assuming that you're using a VNV and not Conda. Not a problem though, as all it's doing is copying two simple files. So if you run the command pip show transformers in your Anaconda environment, you'll see there the location. In this case, it's there. All you need to do then is copy these two files, the utils and the modeling llama into that location. So there's the example command you can use to copy, or of course you could use your graphical file manager. You can then start with whichever profile best suits your VRAM. And in my case, I used profile one with compile and ICL. The Xlama V2 version I'm running is actually sort of a hybrid because I'm like that. You see the Xlama V2 UI version um, only comes with instructions for Docker and I like to follow instructions and I don't like to use Docker. No worries though, as you can just copy the interface file over into the standard Yeah Xlama install. Much the same as with Yeah GP, you make a nice Conda environment here. They've actually specified 3.12 like I used. Activate it, don't forget git lfs, clone this environment, and then pip install minus r requirements.txt. Now this one is slightly different as they do also have there a requirements rock m. So if you've got an AMD card as well, that's certainly a good option. If we have a look at this requirements.txt too, for Windows, they've got the wheels in there as well. So hopefully you should have a much easier time installing this. Now this one isn't Docker, but doesn't have the Gradio interface. Uh, but remember that isn't a problem as what we can do is just copy the interface from the Xlama UI version into this one. So here is the Xlama UI version and there's a file src, yeah interface.py, that one there. So you can just copy that into your standard Xlama v2. There you can see I've made a symbolic link. The file is set up for Docker, but if you crack it open in your favorite text editor, all you need to do is set these various base repo, base yeah, base models, base outputs, and base input directory. So here you can see I've got it set up to my yeah Xlama v2 install. Now it knows where your local install is, and everything will run nicely. You will need the Xcodec mini infer directory inside SRC, yeah, normally it's in the root there, but instead I just made a symbolic link into the SRC, yeah, directory. The Docker version of this will automatically download the various repositories, but this version doesn't use the standard hugging face cached versions of the models, which are automatically downloaded by the other Gradio interfaces. So for this one, I needed to do a hugging face CLI download and just copy it into a local directory. Here then you can see the result of that. I've got the MAP directory, which is basically all the models. And there's the ICL, the COT and the stage two general. Because we've copied that Gradio interface in, we can now ignore step four there, run inference via the CLI and instead just use Python to run that interface file we copied in. There you go, it's running on 7860. So when you open that up in a web browser, you should then be able to choose your models. Whew. Well, it certainly took a lot getting all these different things installed and tested, but hopefully now you have an idea about the one which suits you best. Windows beginners will likely prefer the Visions of Chaos version. And for the rest of us, there's the Gradio interfaces of Yeah GP or Xlama V2. All in all then, I think it's amazing we can run AI music generation of this quality at home with as little as six gig of VRAM. I really look forward to any future updates. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.